Hello and welcome to my Tarot Corner. So everyone is talking about Meghan Markle and the Dior uh, contract and there is no Dior contract. And, but I'm going to speak about um, Prince Andrew. Uh, and Prince Andrew has been in the news for a long time as well, but because of the shenanigans that come from uh, the Huckle side, uh, people uh, don't pay attention to the problems that arise from his side. So apparently he refuses to leave the Royal Lodge. He even refuses to leave for the time being as there are renovations being done there because he's afraid that he won't be allowed to go back to the Royal Lodge. And uh, although uh, King Charles offered him a uh, Frogmore cottage, he doesn't relent. Um, and uh, I think that it went under the radar, but uh, a few weeks ago there was a uh, there was an article in the Express about emails coming out regarding uh, Andrew's uh, connection with Epstein and uh, that his connection was probably not as, not as um, innocent as he wants us to believe. Now, I'm not going to go into that uh, right now, uh, and I know that uh, the, there are people out there that believe that he is uh, that he is guilty. Other people believe that uh, since he hasn't uh, come out and said that uh, admitted any fault, and there was no trial, that uh, you cannot say that he's guilty because he had no chance in uh, clearing his name. So um, I'm not going to delve into that. Uh, I don't know exactly what was in those emails and whether or not it strengthened uh, the case for uh, the people that think that uh, Andrew is guilty. But we do know that um, for, uh, Virginia Gouffre herself is being sued for grooming and on one side and on the other side Andrew himself is not going to the USA probably because he doesn't want to be um, to be um, uh, interrogated by the fed, by the feds so uh, there are um, considerations to each side so but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a reading from Andrew's point of view on what can a person do when his family wants him to do something and he, in this case his family wants him to leave the Royal Lodge and he doesn't feel that this is the right thing for him to do. Now if you remember I showed you this book the one thousand and one tarot spreads and I told you that this book has spreads for nearly everything and there is a spread here that is called to resist pressure to conform to family beliefs or a situation that you know is wrong for you so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to use this spread from Andrew's point of view he believes that leaving the Royal Lodge is wrong for him. He doesn't want to conform to this request of his family. And uh, for this spread, you need to use the 22 major uh, cards and the 16 court cards. So that's why this deck is so small. And um, it should be done on a significant the family day. Now we had Father's Day uh, yesterday, I think, so I'm sorry for missing it in, in one day, but uh, you will forgive me. 
And this deck is so beautiful that I will use it again uh, because it's just too beautiful not to use it more than once. It's called Feline Rider Tarot. Okay, so before I start, please take a few moments to read my full disclaimer. It's in the description box. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation, and as such, may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. Okay, so let's start by clearing the deck. And let's start asking, so, how should Prince Andrew act be now that his family wants him to leave the Royal Lodge and he feels that this is not the right thing for him to do? So what should Prince Andrew do since he doesn't want to leave the Royal Lodge and the King wants him to leave the royal lodge so what should prince andrew do since he refuses to vacate the royal lodge despite the fact that his brother the king wants him to do that so what should prince andrew do since he has a problem with his family that wants him to vacate the royal lodge okay so let's cut the deck and the first card is did 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 andrew always felt that he is different from the rest of his family so is it something is it a problem that is something that all of his life he had or is it something that is uh, only uh, in this instance or only in the recent recent years so let's see what we get and what we're getting here is the queen of wands the queen of wands or the king of wands yeah i think it's the queen no. Wait a minute. Okay, I think it's the queen. Wait, no, it's the king. The, the cat here is, is, no, no, it's the queen. It's the queen of wands. Okay, sorry, sorry for the, the, the mishap. So what can we learn from the queen of wands? Okay, so in yes or no questions, um, the uh, court cards are always um, a yes answer, but we need to look at the interpretation of the cards as well. And the Queen of Wands is a woman or an archetype of a person that is very egotistical. So what we can say about Prince Andrew that he was always very egotistical. He always felt different from his family because he felt that his ego was very, very big. Now, remember that Andrew was considered the favorite child of Queen uh, Elizabeth. And, and I don't know if, if it's true or not, if this is how he felt, but if that is how he felt, then this could very much inflated his ego and let him feel or believe that he has um, extra or uh, extra rights or uh, he has uh, permission to do things that others don't. So uh, the Queen of Wands is also someone who likes to perform in front of an audience. Uh, she's also someone uh, that is, uh, she cares very much about herself and about her family, but uh, about her small unit of family. So 
it's about him, it's about his daughters, it's about his grandchildren, it's not about his entire family. So he's not looking at what is good for the entire monarchy. He's not looking, let me see, yeah, I'm still burning. So it's not looking at the monarchy, he's not looking at the, the country. This is not what he cares about. What he cares about is the good of Prince Andrew. So I can say that uh, apart from the fact that uh, court cards are yes answers, because this is a very egotistical person, uh, he felt different. He felt different from other people in his family because he felt special. Okay, so this is first card. Second card is what is the main difference or the main problem that makes it hard for him to conform? So <clears throat> what is the main problem that makes it hard for him to leave the Royal Lodge? Remember that here we're asking only about the Royal Lodge. So why, what, what is the main problem for him about leaving the Royal Lodge? It's not like, he is offered uh, to live in uh, for uh, a two bedroom flat. Okay, so the answer is, okay, the, the Hierophant. Okay, so the Hierophant is in many ways the king himself. Uh, because the Hierophant is the person that is the highest, um, the highest religious uh, person in the state, and this is the king. He is the, ha the, the, the head of the church. And in this instance, I think that this is Andrew. Um, well, it's like, you know, when two children are fighting and one of them has a ball and he doesn't really want that ball he wants something else but the other one wants the ball so he won't give the ball because i, I don't know how you say it in english but uh, 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 let me just find out so uh, the, it means to do something on purpose because because the other one wants him. They, because the king wants him to leave, then he won't leave. It is to do, it, he's doing it on purpose. So this is one of the, one of the, one of the main reasons why he's not, he doesn't want to leave the Royal Lodge. Now the Hierophant is also, uh, I always tell you the Hierophant is number five. He, this is the archetype of someone who is doing the right thing. This is about doing the right thing. And behind every hierophant, there is always a devil that is looming. And the devil, the devil is number 15, the hierophant is number five. And since we are using Roman uh, numer numer uh, numerals, uh, it, you can you write the five and uh, you, you need to only to add the I in front of the five in order to get the, uh, the devil. So they are very much related. So behind every hierophant there is a devil. And I think that here it is the devilish uh, ways or the devilish um, um, uh, attributes of Andrew that are causing him to act out and to to do that on purpose. To he, it's like he's enjoying to enjoying to enjoying seeing uh, King Charles uh, angry. It's like he enjoys making King Charles angry. So this is how I feel. This is what I feel that this card is, wants to tell us. Okay, so the next card is, would anyone in the family or in this community speak for him? So would anyone 
can would anyone speak for him uh, maybe convince King Charles to let him stay in the royal lodge or convince him that uh, he will be able to stay in the royal lodge after the uh, after the renovation uh, end so the answer is the star okay so the star card is uh, first of all as i always say the star is a mix of positive and negative energies and the positive energy is an energy of naivety loving energies uh, and it has to be a woman because you know that the star is a, a feminine card so it has to be a woman and it has to be someone who has feelings towards him so someone who loves him so that could be either his daughters or his wife extra ex-wife someone who loves him and that someone who can speak on his behalf who loves him enough to do that and someone who knows his secrets because the negative side of the star card is the pandora box it's the secrets of that are kept there and i we all know that andrew has quite a lot of secrets that are kept in his Pandora box. And he is carrying quite a lot of uh, secrets there. And if that Pandora box uh, is opened, it will be a scandal, I think, to the royal family and to everyone. So this has to be someone who can keep his secrets, someone who loves him, and it has to be a woman. So there is someone like this, uh, and I think it's it, it has to be Sarah. And uh, whether or not King Charles will listen to Sarah, this is another question. Uh, well, after uh, the king, the after the queen died, uh, king, king Charles did allow Sarah to come back to the royal fold. Did, did allow her to come to uh, Christmas with the family. So. The, there was a, a reuniting with Sarah, so I don't know how how much she will be will allow her to talk to him and how much he will listen to her. But uh, I think that she's the only one who really knows Andrew's secrets enough to talk to Charles and to be a, Andrew's advocate let's say that way okay so the next card is wait a minute so uh, can can Andrew live within the family and stay in the Royal Lodge so will he be able to keep the Royal Lodge this is the main question here uh, will he be able to keep the Royal Lodge? And what I'm getting here is the Hermit. So the answer is no. Uh, the Hermit is a card of someone who, uh, first of all, a lonely person. Uh, so if he is uh, going to insist on the Royal Lodge and on keeping the Royal Lodge, he will end up very lonely. And very lonely, it's not only lonely because he will be completely ostracized from the, from the family, as he is already because he, is, uh, he wasn't allowed to... to uh, to participate in the order of the garter for example a ceremony uh, yesterday uh, just for example he wasn't allowed to participate in the uh, in the balcony uh, uh, in the uh, tripping of the colors or in the tripping of the colors uh, uh, ceremonies so he's not part of what the what makes the royal family so he's not part of that but he is still a part of the family not at uh, not the royal family but he's still a part of the family uh, in in that in in the way that 
he is coming to Christmas, he's going with them to church, uh, even though uh, they are all coming out for, uh, to church together, uh, people see them going to church together, and uh, if, if, the, if in the year before he went to church alone, uh, not alone, but with his mother, uh, but without the entire family. This year he went with the entire family. So he does get to participate in the family affairs, not in the royal affairs, but in the family affairs. But if he insists on the royal lodge, he will end up as the hermit, as someone who is lonely. Now the hermit usually does that to himself because he is insisting on doing it, uh, because he wants to do it, because he wants to find the answers to the big questions. So he's going, he will go to the end of the world to find those answers. But I don't think that uh, Andrew really does want to go to the end of the world to find big answers. So if he will end up as a hermit, it's only because he's doing it to himself, only because he's insisting on this, on the, on, on the Royal Lodge. So no, there is no way for him to be, still be part of the family, of the family affairs, and keep the Royal Lodge. Okay, the next card is, uh, are there areas on which he can compromise? So can he compromise? Are there any areas on which he can compromise? And what I'm getting here is the King of, wait, the King, what is it? Wands, the king of wands, okay. So we started with the queen of wands and now we're getting the king of wands. Okay, so the king of wands, that is another egotistical person. But the king of wands, but the king of wands is egotistical in another way. He is the beginner. He is the one who starts things. He is the one who always knows how to start things, not very good in ending them, but he is very good in starting things. So he can get, so, so for a question, for, for once again, for a yes and no question, this is a yes answer. So there, he can reach a compromise. Now, you know that I always look at the uh, at the card at the entire card and just to pay attention to both of those cards to the to the queen and the king so just look at the castle here and look at the castle here so I remember that my professor always used to tell us that it's in, imperative to look at the size of things, the size of the people or the objects, everything is important. So here the, the, the castle is big. We, we started with uh, the way that uh, um, Andrew felt his entire life as someone who is unique, someone who has big, a big ego, that he felt that he deserves the, the, the castle. And the Royal Lodge is a big castle, okay? Now we, we are talking about a compromise and the castle is getting further away from the king. So the king is not so close to the castle. The castle looks smaller, although it's not smaller, it's just further away. So the, the card looks darker than the sunny card here. And the flowery, uh, beautiful flowers here are kind of a withered, a tree here so it's 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 like um, a, a sad a sadder version of the queen of wands so what does it tell us the the king of wands is the initiator but 
he is someone that is very impulsive because of his ego problems. So yeah, there is a basis for compromise. And the compromise does mean that he will have to leave the lodge. He will have to leave the castle. Uh, but the problem is that because of his anger problems, because of his impu impulsivity, he, that might end the compromise. That might end the peace talks, if, if we call it this that way. So there is a possibility of a compromise, but he has to be to control his own anger. Man, anger. He, he needs to to start uh, dealing with anger management in order to be able to uh, reach this agreement or to, to reach a good compromise. Okay, next. The next card is, uh, are there areas on which he cannot compromise? So are there areas on, are, what are the things that he cannot compromise no matter what? And what we're getting here is, oh God, how did I get the Nine of Swords here? Well, I, I was looking on, I was going through the, the, the deck uh, to sever, uh, to, to pick up only the uh, Major Arcanas and the, uh, uh, and the Court Cards and the Nine of Swords got, got in here. So I will take another card for this, but we do need to remember that we got the Nine of Swords here. And the Nine of Swords came in the place of the question was, are there uh, areas in which an Andrew cannot compromise? And the Nine of Swords meaning is worry and justified worry. And what does it, and it means that if, if Andrew refuses to compromise, refuses to, uh, to listen, to advise on this, uh, he will end up in this style of swords. He will end up in this very, very difficult place of worry, of even disease. So this, this is something that we need to remember in the back of our mind. But I will take another card because it wasn't supposed to be the Nine of Swords. So let's see what card we get. And what we're getting here is the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords is the Reporter. And once again, pay attention to details because what we're getting here is <laughs> the one tower, the tower of the, the one tower of the uh, castle. If we started with this castle with a lot of uh, towers, here the, the, the page of swords is standing near one tower. So this is something that he cannot compromise on. He cannot compromise on getting only one tower. So he will have to make a compromise that will be a more uh, on more than one tower but what the page of swords means is it's about air energy like the sword nine of swords it's about air energy and it's about thinking it's about planning it's about organizing your thoughts and ideas and the page of swords is a person uh, it is called the reporter because he's very good in talking he's very slick tongue and many times he is a liar now in this instance what andrew needs to remember is that if he decides to become a liar he will end up in this nine of swords um, energy uh, he needs to be very, very smart here. He needs to understand that, okay, you, there are limits to what you can compromise on. There are things that you cannot compromise on, but 
uh, be very, very careful not to cross the line and not to become a liar, not to be someone who is trying with his slick tongue to gain more than you think that you deserve, because then you will end up here. So this is probably why we got this card here. You know that in tarot, there is always a reason why things are happening. And uh, things, when they happen, they happen. So uh, there is no, th th this is not a coincidence. So this is a very crucial, crucial moment because on this card, uh, on this side, a question of whether or not he, he has something that he cannot compromise on. And this is about him negotiating. And when you're negotiating, you need your verbal uh, uh, skills. And when, you need, you, when you're using your verbal skills, you need, sometimes you have the temptation to be untruthful. He needs to be very, very sure that he's not untruthful. He needs to be very sure that he's not asking for more than he deserves, because if he does, he will end up in the Nine of Swords. So this is what he cannot compromise on. He cannot compromise on less than he deserves. He cannot compromise on a very ruined, uh, tower uh, that uh, that is uh, in dire need for uh, work he can compromise on something less fancy than a castle but not on something that is not not fitted for uh, for living okay so the next card is does Andrew need to temporarily or maybe permanently move away from the family? Now, that's a very good question because right now he refuses to do that because he is afraid that if he moves, he uh, won't be able to come back to the Royal Lodge. But maybe that is what he needs to do. So may, does he need to do that? So the answer is the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is actually a no, it's a no answer. Uh, because Knight of Sword is another uh, court card from the, knight, from the Swords uh, family. But Knights are always people that lose opportunities because they have problems. The Knight of Swords is the spoiled kid. So he's someone who doesn't like to do things by himself. He always likes other people to do things for him. So in this instance, uh, the Knight of Swords won't, or uh, Andrew uh, in this archetype, won't allow him to uh, go and to go away. Once again, pay attention to the castle. It's here. It's big. It's, um, it's not uh, ruined, but there is a very big ravine that is separating the knight from the castle. It's, it's amazing how you can see the, the differences uh, between the cards and the, uh, and the castles in the cards. So here, the castle is uh, unattainable as, as much as, it, as it's unattainable here. Although here it's very close, but here is, uh, it's uh, in, in, in habit, habit of, well, you know what I mean. It's, it's, you, you, cannot, uh, you cannot live in it. And here it looks pristine, but uh, he cannot reach that. So this card tells, uh, tells, tells us that he uh, emotionally, maybe, it's, uh, maybe it is a good thing for him, but emotionally is unable to do that. He cannot do that emotionally because he is 
he cannot do that. He misses opportunities because he is stubborn. This is what this 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 is what this card means. This is a stubborn person, and because he's stubborn, he is unable to move away or move for a little while just to see things from afar to be able to see things uh, in a different light it, it it's just impossible for him to do so he's too stubborn to do that and he he wants other people to do the thing to work for him he wants other people to move away he wants other people to do the work he doesn't want to be the one that needs to do that okay last card is a uh, well how can it be resolved or can it be resolved if and what we're getting here is the fool okay so the full card as i always tell you it is about freedom and it's about freedom that has no price and the full card has many ways of looking at it it is about a person who is, or it's the archetype of a person who is able to, uh, first of all, look at uh, the options and look at everything that is be, be before him and uh, take risks. Now, the question is, does he take risks without obligations or does he consider the 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 the, the risks and does he consider the the payment that he will have to pay for taking those risks so this is a very important thing to understand about the fool because if he is able to take the risks without uh, without uh, thinking and without uh, without uh, and any thought about the possible uh, possible uh, things that might happen uh, then he might fall he might fall he might uh, get very hurt uh, emotionally and physically so this is about uh, not being reckless not being hasty so in order to solve this you need to go uh, into the future with open eyes to see the risks and if you decide to take the risks then you need to understand that there that you might need to pay the price for them so if you are thinking about it if you're not doing that recklessly if you're not doing it hastily hastily then then you are doing the right thing for yourself but then you understand that you are taking a risk now if you are agitated if you are someone who always feels frustrated, someone who always feels that uh, he is not listened to, someone who ignores reality, ignores obstacles, then you are taking risks without understanding the possible obligations, without understanding what is the price that you are going to pay for that. So this is about uh, neglecting things it's about disconnecting it's about running away from responsibilities running away from problems so this is this is probably this is not answering us this is not an answer for is there a possibility to uh, to solve this this is an answer of how to solve this. So I don't know if they can solve this, but the only way to solve this is for both sides to look at the problem with eyes open, to see reality, to deal with reality, to understand the possible, the, oh, every possibility, to understand what is 
in front of them what they need to do and what are the risks and especially Andrew needs to do that because for King Charles he has he doesn't have a lot to lose but Andrew has quite a lot to lose okay so that's the tarot so first the the cat oracle which is the cat's inspiration card inspirational card so let's see what are what are what inspiration can we give andrew first so let's clear the deck inspiration for andrew on the royal lodge inspiration for andrew on the royal lodge okay what we're getting is welcome let's see what it means okay so this cute cat is standing in a welcome way of standing a typical welcome uh, stand for a cat a, a greeting stance and the message is that if andrew wants something new in his life he needs to open himself to it so he needs to make space by removing things so if he may, if he wants something new in his life and maybe he, he he might come out and say well I don't want anything new I want everything as it was before but that's not true because he does want thing new things he wants uh, is uh, legal problems to go away he wants uh, uh, to get his uh, military uh, uh, appointments back he wants things to change but if he wants things to change then he needs to say goodbye to some of the things that he has and to make room for other things to come in and by doing that he needs to uh, say goodbye to some, some things so maybe saying goodbye to the royal lodge will make space to other things that he needs or wants and it will cre create an invitation or atmosphere that will attract the situation or the things that he does desire so this will let the universe know that he is ready to welcome a new energy so this is the advice or the inspiration from the cat now the second oracle is the animal spirit from the wild unknown animal spirit and let's see what is the animal spirit for andrew Let's clear the deck. Okay, so Prince Andrew, animal spirit. Prince Andrew's animal spirit. So what I'm getting is the turtle. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so the turtle, as you know, carries his home on his back. So he doesn't need to be so attached to a home. Uh, and it is about a person that is grounded, trusting, and an ancient soul. 
when he is in balance. He is peaceful, adventurous, and productive. But when he is not in balance, then he is slow. He slows down until he halts. And I think that here we have a turtle out of balance because when Andrew was in his element, he was adventurous, he was going around in the world, he was very, very productive. And today he is a, a home sitter and he is very, he, he's not doing it much. And I think that he, he is very much slowed down. So he is a turtle. Uh, out of balance okay so this is it uh, for this reading i hope you liked it and if you did please like subscribe hit the notification bell leave me a comment and i'll see you in the next one bye